Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Friday Furtado Show. The, the show by me, Coach Furtado, Justin Furtado, that passes the wisdom that I am learning as a young young coach, young leader, to leaders like yourselves, coaches like yourself. And so this is actually, I'm going to transition the Friday Furtado Show where we upload it to, to Bridging Impact. So stay tuned for that coming soon. That'll be that'll be coming out next week. And also, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you normally watch on YouTube, you're gonna recognize that it's a different background. Yeah, I'm in the parking lot at a Whole Foods right now and I'm starting to cook up a little bit because I'm in the valley. So, you know, I'm probably gonna keep this short and sweet, but for you, the listener, getting a, a real good understanding i got a very good it was my first week of running summer camp for basketball and it was lower numbers right like it's gonna be a chill week you know we've been doing this is the third week in a row it's gonna be a piece of cake right it's actually been the most challenging week at least for me you know i think the first week was challenging in itself for sure but you know i've had to talk to multiple parents i've had a covid scare we had, you know, um, different, we had some thing, internal things uh, with, you know, obviously I don't want to share everything, right? Internal things with, with coaches and processes and, you know, just making sure that everyone feels heard, feels is happy and have their needs met. And I'm trying to like navigate, put, you know, certain people in with their strengths, you know, if this person likes to initiate things and, you know, take control of time and, and run things, I want to give them that. But I also want to make sure that they are meeting and, and you know, talking about how fundamentals and just, you know, keeping it fun and light and just, you know, being a joy to be around. So like, it's just, it's navigating that and it was really challenging for me so I, I but I feel like you know there's the old saying you know talking about like the tough times make you a better leader and I couldn't couldn't agree more like I feel like I'm a better leader this week because of certain things like I, I now know I have to I have to put certain policies in and you can't be super lax sometimes you got to be like hey we can't do this because of this this already happened but I should have known you know it's kind of human human um, behavior essentially that you know sometimes you just let things go and, and that makes sense right but you know I think one of the things like you really that I'm gonna you know always be working on and always be challenged on because I you know my leadership style is very positive I'm very I like to en enlist a lot of trust and kind of give people autonomy and I while I do believe that's important I think there needs to be a fine line that I'm still learning about how to give what is what are the expectations and what is what are the no's like the the no's and that's that's obviously for the kids right like that's you know physical hitting kicking and so that was that was something that we had to nip in the butt real quick but also like what are the no's for the coaches right like what are the things that they can't do and so i have to figure that out and then i can't if i'm going to say no cursing for the coaches and i'm cursing right like and i let a few slide like that's not being a good leader that's not being a good role model and so with that you know we really have to I, I really need I really need to be mindful of that, right? And I saw a great tweet this week, and I can't remember who, so I'm I'm sorry for not being able to give it credit. But it's just talking about like building culture, and that's one of the things that I've kind of been you know tasked with is I I'm tasked with training coaches. But if I want a coach to be a little bit more engaging and fun, you know I have to model it. I have to model the certain ways to high five people, to say hi to everyone. You know, those are the things that I have to model and do. I have to show people how to, you know, do this drill, that drill. It's, it's a, and it's slow. It's a process and, and it's just all about love, man. It's just about loving the process and, and really enjoying it because, you know, I'm not going to be perfect. I'm definitely not going to be perfect. And I really, I'm mindful. I'm aware of that. And I think letting go of, of needing to be perfect and letting go of needing to be a perfect leader is like, the most important one of the most important things like the other day i was kind of down on myself because i was like ah you know like you know one parent was was talking to me a little bit and you know it's just like there's two sides to every story and you know long story short i i didn't really do the best at, at uncovering all the stories and, and uncovering and doing you know for lack of a better term doing justice by the kid who had to go home because of their actions and you know 
I, I was kind of hard on myself, but at the time, that's like I was doing the best I was doing. And and there's a great episode, a great bitching impact episode where Matt Sendejas, you know, that's a really good episode that he talks about, you know, just doing the best you can. And that when he started, you know, Inspire One, he just like he had to, you know, just do his best. And at my best right now at 24 is going to look different than 30. But also, you know, knowing that my best today, you know, when I'm recording this is different than my tomorrow. And, you know, I, I think everyone wants to always be at our best, best, best. But, you know, you got to show up and do your best when you don't feel like doing your best. And right, right now, you know, I'm doing this in a parking lot because I'm going to go to, you know, another practice. And I didn't have time to, you know, go and do my usual recording. And I'm like, oh, I'll try to figure out when I'm going to do my newsletter. And I'll, I'll figure it out. But, you know, with that, it's just like sometimes you just got to show up. Keep showing up and keep being consistent. I posted a video today about, like, waves hitting a rock. And there's a great like kind of like metaphor of like the waves constantly hitting the rocks and i'm from like uh the coast the northern california coast and it is so beautiful because the waves just keep crashing against the rocks it creates this these amazing formations and that's that's you know if you think about that that's like what we're going for you know if you're listening to this and you want something so bad you just got to be a consistent wave and and i'm starting to notice that with content creation like i'm starting to notice more viewership so i appreciate you for coming out and listening and i'm getting more podcast listeners and i'm i'm feeling more confident as a leader i'm becoming a better basketball coach but it's because i'm putting in the effort time in and time again like i want to create content for young coaches and young leaders like yourself that i want to take time you know, and I'm, I'm also noticing that I'm using the word I a lot, I, 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 you know, and I, it is, you know, my, my actions, but at the end of the day, it is to, to create content, to serve other people and really just share, because I want to pass now bridging impact is just to bridge wisdom from one generation to the next. And for me, like I'm very resourceful, like, and I selfishly, I get so much out of the conversations that I'm, I'm learning so much that I feel amazing passing that on. So with that being said, just enjoy the journey and be consistent. Be that wave that keeps pushing and have that belief in yourself that you can do it because I believe in you. And you know, I, I don't believe that I can be an NBA player, but I do believe I can be an impactful content creator, right? And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna be, I believe I'm gonna be the number one content creator. I believe that I can really make an impact you know, creating content. So I appreciate y'all for listening, for supporting, you know, much love, it means a lot to me. And with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, make sure you follow, share it with a friend if it fires you up. And I will be in your ears and eyes soon. Check it out on Bridging Impact. I'll be updating this uh, pod to send you over there. That way we can keep everything in one spot, you know, working on websites and all that fun stuff. But, you know, that's internal. So with that being said, appreciate y'all. Have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Be safe. And for Coach Furtado, out.